Joining me now is Heritage Foundations. Uh, he's James Car- Carafano. James, great to see you. OK, let's get right at it. Ronald Reagan's former budget director, David Stockman, is supporting President Trump in the pullout, saying pulling we have to pull America out of forever wars. Also, Senator Rand Paul defending the pullout of U.S. troops. Watch this. The Constitution is quite clear. No authorization has ever been given for the use of force in Syria. No authorization of declaration of war. No permission to be there at all. And we know that President Obama wanted to pull out as well. Your reaction? Yeah, I look, politicians say what they want and pundits have opinions. And, you know, I my job is to be an analyst. I was in the military for 25 years and I look at what's going on on the ground. And the reality on the ground is, is the U.S. was not at war in Syria. The U.S. was working with the YPG, conducting counterterrorism operations. We do these all over the world, not just in Syria. And the notion that somehow a few hundred American troops on the ground, that it was safe to leave them in between the Turkish incursion and the YPG forces makes absolutely no sense whatsoever why we would do that and needlessly put American lives at risk. So repositioning those American troops, I think, makes perfect sense. I think it's still a question what our footprint is in Syria. We have troops in southern Syria. We're, we're still saying that we're going to partner doing counterterrorism operations. So the, the notion that somehow we're okay. all in or all out, I'm not sure we have a clear picture of that. Yeah, I want to clarify. President Obama supported the use of troops to go after to support the effort against ISIS. But in general, he wanted the troops to be wound down out of the Middle East. But here's the thing, James. The Kurds are accusing Turkey of violating that ceasefire. Uh, Roll call pointing out that it's a five-day ceasefire. It's not binding. It's not permanent. doesn't require Turkey to give up anything. And there are reports that the UN UN is now uh, investigating the alleged use of white phosphorus phosphorus and other chemical weapons against the Kurdish people, including children. This is a really serious situation. Right. Well, I think the U.S. has, has been absolutely clear from the beginning that it would hold all sides accountable for their actions on the battlefield, as we yeah, should. Yeah, but that's and after the fact, right? No, no, no. Well, but wait that's, a minute. That, well, so the, sorry. The, here's well, a debate. Here's I'm a debate. Sorry, Lewis, no, wait, wait. Me. Let me finish. Okay, go ahead. That's, that's the way it works, right? The United States holds people accountable. We only have a couple hundred soldiers. They cannot run around the battlefield and monitor the conflict between the two sides. Yeah, that's but it wouldn't have happened if we didn't pull out the troops. That's the debate. But again, if we didn't, okay, go ahead. No, again, that was not an option. I mean, the notion that a couple of American hundred troops were going to stand between the Turks and the YPG as they fought with each other, that, that makes no sense on any, for any person that's ever dealt with these issues and ever been in a part of the world where this kind of conflict happens. We just don't do that. I hear what you're saying. Again, the, the, what is going on now, it was as, as a result of the U.S. pullout. I want to move on to this. No, the, again, I disagree with that comment. It's not a result of the U.S. pullout. So the, there wasn't any shooting? The, there wasn't, it's a result there, of there, the wait, Turkish, Stay with me. It, forgive me. Was there, was there use of chemical weapons and were there, you know, refuge, uh, were, there peop, were the Kurds getting hit with, uh, uh, with uh, mortar and shell, shelling? Before the pullout, was that happening? Was, well, there, was there chemical I'm, weapons I'm being used on the but Kurds? But again, the, these are these are issues that are supposed to be investigated. Okay. Look, so here's how look here's how it works. When there are civilians on the battlefield, military forces are required to do due diligence. That doesn't mean that civilians might not get hit, hit by accident or or casualty, and you have to investigate that to determine whether the actions of the forces were appropriate or not. Often that's very, very difficult to do while the combat is actually I happening. Understand. That's just the reality of conflict that's I always that way we don't, all over the world. We don't like to treat human lives as just rounding errors and, and as data point. Here's the other thing. The House voted 354 to 60, including 129 rep- Republicans to rebuke the the moves here. But Fox News contributor Molly Hemingway, again, she's ripping into the double standard among Democrats on Trump's uh, Syria policy. Again, pointing out that President Obama removed troops from Iraq, repeatedly said, I will not put boots on the ground in Syria. Uh, The American people largely did not support the idea of putting boots on the ground in Syria. Well, the When Trump came into office uh, uh, and he said, we have to defeat the caliphate and the the capital of the caliphate and many of the their their uh, their, the core of their fighters were actually in Syria. And so the Pentagon went to him as the Pentagon went to President Obama. And they said, if you want to defeat the caliphate, you have to get in and work with people that are willing to do that. And there was only one force that was both willing and capable, and that was the YPG, which is why we partnered them. And the YPG was willing to do that, not, not because they're Democrats, not because they're liberals, not because they hate Assad or hate Turkey or anything else. It's because 
the caliphate was killing them and they were happy to have the help and do that. And when that operation was complete, the president wanted to withdraw the forces completely. But all, everybody pointed out, not just the Pentagon, but including your allies, there were other things we had to worry about. We didn't want mass casualties. We didn't want to leave conditions that would allow the caliphate to come back. And we didn't want Iran to have a footprint in Syria that would threaten Israel. So the president has always agreed to conduct modest military operations in order to protect those valid, valid interests of the United States. Yeah, your point's well taken. The president has said this was his plan for some time. He campaigned on it. James Carafano, great to see you. Thanks for having Let's me. Let's get it. Great. You'll be coming back, James.